Hey everyone, so today I'm really excited for this video because it's all about composting and I have Paul from Suncoast Composting here to answer some questions and to help you guys learn about composting. So I'd love to hear how you got started in composting and then what tips you have for beginners. All right, well I got composting uh, a few years ago because I really hated the idea of throwing my food waste away. First of all, there really isn't in a way, so I was really donating it to a landfill. So I felt like uh, starving that landfill a little bit. So um, my wife and I sat down and I basically wanted the easiest, cheapest, uh, low maintenance si uh, you know, area, place, system, whatever it could be. Mm -hmm. And so I looked at like the, uh, the mulching style where you kind of like throw it all in a big pile and wait and I looked at the ones where you have to go out in there and turn it all the time or the worm bins and stuff and I kind of felt like I would just do a little bit of all of them. Uh, so I settled on a kind of a weird one where we take all of our food waste and we feed them to black soldier fly larvae. And so black soldier flies are these uh, native flies that live around us right now. And those flies, they, uh, they lay their eggs near some food waste. Those eggs hatch and they eat all of that food waste. Like they shred it. It's a wood chipper of food waste. So basically that, uh, that food waste gets, gets chomped up. And once those flies, uh, I'm sorry, once their larvae get filled up, they tend to walk out of the bin. And then they walk out of the bin and we catch them and give them to our chickens. So I kind of use my food the whole oh, system. Yeah, it's like everything whole we've just been touring his farm and everything just flows really well. So the chickens and the composting and the garden. So it's really interesting. So if someone has never heard about composting or like really wants to get started, what should they do? Um, well I think number one, uh, just be like, I will never throw away food waste. <laughs> you know? Never so throw away food waste right ever there. again. Um, it, de it depends, right? Because there's some people who let's say live in a bigger um, so they have like a bigger yard or maybe they have a bigger family that's producing a lot of food waste so like you know kids uh adults clean your plates but you know kids they tend to yeah you know so um i've uh i think it kind of depends on the environment that the people are living in if they have a apartment complex there are some kind of uh some easy to build red wriggler totes you can use so it's basically using uh small earthworms to eat all that that food waste and that works pretty well the only drawbacks is you can't put meat or citrus mm -hmm. or things like that um, but there's some easy DIY builds you, you can do. Um, if you're somebody that lives on a bigger piece of property, you can use just your kind of your standard, um, you know, layering lasagna composting, where you kind of lay down a, a layer of browns, lay down a layer of your food scraps, and then you know make sure that's wet enough, and then put down some more uh, browns again. And then you mix it, right? Uh, actually, I just leave. Oh, you just leave. Yeah, it. I just okay. leave it. And then what'll happen is you just keep that that layering. So it starts compressing. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, and then it'll get hot. And um, if it doesn't get hot, then what I do is I just I just unmix it, take it all off, and then add some more water. Okay. And then if I add some more water, then it'll get it'll get hot. And then there'll actually, if you put your hand in there, you will feel it. It'll be really hot. And then that that heat actually is breeding lots of different microbes that are chewing up on all, all that food waste and turning it back into really good soil. So what is I, the most common like mistake people make when they're like <laughs> composting or like, you know, I feel like I did it. I yeah. had a red wiggler worm uh -huh. bin in my apartment and I had like a fly problem and then <laughs> yeah. the worms were escaping and dying. Yeah. So what is like the common things that you I think you write? nailed some of them. <laughs> yeah. Um, sometimes if you, if you start with your worm bin and then you put in some foods that uh, the worms don't like, they will run away from you. And yes. so they will end up on your carpet or your, your... And they dry up and die. They do, they turn into like little uh, little cats. So how do you worms. know what they like? Um, well, it, that's kind of the thing is that is that it's a biological system, it's something that's alive. So you have to kind of read it, you know, and be like, all right, what are my worms liking now? Um, you know, is it too moist, is it too dry? Are they, if they're running away, there it's, might be, there might it's be it's something a problem. wrong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I, that's what I kind of turned to the uh, the soldier flies. Is that those guys? They love to eat everything, yeah. and there actually are some um, some really small, like five gallon bucket DIY soldier fly builds. And so you can um, you can put your compost into or your food waste into a uh, five gallon bucket, and those soldier flies will come back and they'll lay eggs in there. Their larvae will eat most of that stuff, and then they'll end up crawling out of that bucket. So if you have you know an outside place. Um, those, uh, those sort of fly larvae, they'll feed songbirds and other things that are around your yard. So what you'll end up seeing is cardinals coming back and blue jays yeah. and all sorts of really cool like little wrens and stuff um, to eat those little, little bugs. So they don't have to be like fed to chickens. Right. Um, so the, I think really the most, the easiest one is just that, that layering method. And the, I call it like that the heave and leave. You just sort of heave it out there. Okay, so when in doubt and you just want to try, <laughs> yeah. just start throwing things in so you throw organic food and then you layer it with with browns like with so that'd be browns. your yard waste yeah so so your yard waste okay yeah so basically like all of your all of your browns so that's like you know so yeah, like dried like, leaves yeah <laughs> so um and then so that'd, that'd be your brown so that's like a high carbon content 
and then your greens, which are going to be your high nitrogen content. So those are going to be typically your food or anything that's uh, that's kind of moist, or you know, uh, even some of these lawn clippings could could go in there. Um, you got to make sure you get that nice balance of the browns and the greens, and you'll know about that too. If it's not hot, if it's not cooking right, then you'll just try something different. And I just kind of I like that approach. Just uh, try something. If it doesn't work, then yeah. you know, if try a kind new system. Test things out. Yeah, sort of like see. A natural selection of composting. Yeah. Learn yeah. from your errors. Okay, so can you tell us a little bit about Sunkos Compost and how people can find you? Sure. Um, yeah, my wife and I, uh, primarily my wife, uh, <laughs> is uh, is doing a composting business. So basically, um, because people are having such trouble uh, composting, composting, especially yeah. people in apartment complexes, because you know we're moving closer into cities and there's just less green space to actually like create quality compost. So we're trying to make it easier for a lot of people to, to feel good. And because uh, composting, you know, feels good, right? So, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So basically uh, what we do is we provide a curbside composting service. We supply you with a kitchen bin and some uh, cornstarch bags that go in there. And then we give you a curbside bin as well. When, uh, when your, curb or your uh, kitchen bin starts to fill up, just pinch that bag shut, drop it in your curbside, and we pick it up once a week. So then we compost it for you, and then we give you back two bags of soil every six months. Oh wow, really? Yeah. So I it's didn't know that aspect. Full out. That's yeah, awesome. Exactly. So we do we do all the dirty work. Yeah. You, so, so what aspects of Tampa Bay are you in? Because this is in Tampa. Okay, good. Yeah. So <laughs> we're we're doing most of um, uh, of South Tampa, um, and up to like about the Hillsborough River kind of Seminole Heights area, um, around Ybor City, around Riverview, Brandon. And we also have locations in, in St. Pete as well. It's like downtown St. Pete, I Yeah, downtown yeah. St. Pete. And you can find all that stuff on our website. So it's What's your website? Suncoastcompost.com. So. And then you also have social media. That's right. So, you know, all the, the famous things like Facebook and, and Instagram. <laughs> Is it all at Suncoast? Yeah, it's all okay, at Suncoast. Okay, Suncoast Compost. I'll link everything in the description. Thank you guys for so much for watching. If you have more questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll ask Paul to answer <laughs> them for you. For now, don't forget to live sustainably and consciously, and I will see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.